Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the United Way. My name is Rob Dukan, your presenter of this show. Manchester United is hosting tomorrow Crystal Palace, and that is a game in which United actually we have to win. I mean, I don't want to be arrogant, but I think we have to win. And you agree with me on that because we are playing in Old Trafford, not because we are a fantastic club. Well, you're a fantastic club, not because we're a fantastic team, but because, you know, we have to pick up that momentum from Burnley. So for us to pick up that momentum, we have to go in and win. I think Ten Hag will have this in his mind. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about situations of uh, the, the new comments, uh, uh, players who are going to get involved with this. Uh, I, well, it's been written that Eric Ten Hag will make five to six changes from the team that played against Burnley. So who are in this team? Guys, please make sure you give us just 10 minutes of your time. I just want to do this material, uh, this pre preview. And also, please give a like on the video if um, you, you will, uh, I mean, it will be highly respected. And subscribe if you want. We'll be having a watch along also. And so you can guys can jump and tell me uh, so we can get to know each other uh, during the process. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we are. Manchester United uh, will be in Ultra for tomorrow in the evening. And we'll be playing against Crystal Palace, hosting Crystal Palace, a team which is full of uh, enthusiasm, you know. And um, I really think this is uh, a, an opportunity for United to hang on uh, uh, that Burnley um, result. Maybe not the Burnley performance. Maybe a better performance would be good, but that Burnley result. So let's go straight to our tactical board. This time, guys, I want to tell you guys what we do on our mass preview. We give you guys an opportunity to guess Chen Ten Hag's lineup or build your personal lineup, your lineup of. Uh, of um, confidence that you think United uh, will use. So this is where I've gone. These players here, you have Kobe Mane and Co with Veran, are players which I think will not start, right? Will definitely not start. And um, in the poll, guess what? I would go with, um, uh, obviously, I mean, you, you will want to choose another goalkeeper for this tournament, but I think Ten Hag will go hard. Ten Hag wants to, wants to build that confidence. This is an unfortunate situation for United because at this point of the, of the season, we still haven't built that confidence. So Ten Hag will go hard, I think, if all the players are available. So uh, here we go. We know Onana is going to start. I will go Onana. Let me prove what I will go. You tell me what you will go. Go Onana, and I'll go with yeah, uh, Lindelof. Uh, we'll play here. Yeah. I'm not really sure about... Um, Licha. But if Licha doesn't play, I will still keep Evans in this game. I will bring Evans. I didn't bring him here, but I will bring Evans here. They will play together and we should rest Licha for the league games. And this is where the issue is, is Regulon. Regulon left the, the, the match at uh, Burnley. Actually, Regulon, before the match, Regulon was ill, but he, he opted to play. So I don't know his personal situation, but if he's fit, I will put Regulon in the left here. You play. And uh, you know what? I've asked all my sources and no one is telling me about something about um, about Tyrus, uh, Tyrus, uh, 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 Tyron, Ty Tyron the, the, the left back for Manchester United, Malaysia, Tyron Malaysia. So we are not sure about Malaysia's health. I think it might be something serious. That's why you see they are not, they're just, they're not even talking about it, but, which has not, it might be something that has nothing to do about football, honestly. So the law will still play here, yeah. but in case, in case, guys, in case we don't have this left back, I'm trying to find who can play as a left back. But I think we can bring the law, yeah. We bring um, we bring uh this guy here. Yeah. Um, Lindelof has played like in the back back four on the right side. Then we can bring here yeah, uh, someone like Evans who plays with Licha. I think there will be a combination, but for now, this is what I will go with. Tell me what you think below. I think Casemiro will still play the game. They will go strong in the midfield. They need that cohesion. Talking about needing the cohesion, that's why you have this guy. He will be the main guy, Kase, uh, Kase, uh, Amrabat. This will be a game for Amrabat to play freely with the back four. I will put it this way. Yeah. Really with the back four. So there should be something like a diamond here with Amrabat playing really with the back four with the back four. So most of the balls here from the goalkeeper will actually go in from here. If you guys are saying the United have to play from the back. I know that where our game has slowed a lot because of the way we have changed our playing, which is normal. But um normal when you change systems, you actually go slow because we have this we have um we have uh, Casemiro, who is more offensive. Amrabat will play in between the two defenders. In front of them will be Captain Bruno. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's the captain. He has to play. 
And this is where things come a little bit fishy. We know Mount is back physically already for Mount. Should Mount start? I will not start Mount. I will start with McTominay. So I will bring Mount here with the players who are on the bench. Uh, and I will start with Rashford here on the left. I will want Rashford to play freely here on the ball. And also we are playing in Old Trafford and form a good combination with our attacker, which is Rasmus Holland. He needs to build that confidence. And uh, there is this position here where Sancho is out for disciplinary reasons and also not playing well, let's be honest. Uh, and also, uh, then we have also Anthony who is out for personal reasons, who has been giving us uh, some time to, to sort that out. So I think uh, on the right, I will bring um, this guy here. I will bring Marshall down and start with with uh, with uh, either Pelestri or Ganacho. I am a bit worried about Ganacho if he's not giving playing time this season for Manchester United. He, he had a contract and now they are not using him. So it was, it was a difficult one for me. Uh, tell me what you think below. Who do you start on the right or right and left? I, I think if, if you were in top confidence, I would put Ganacho here on the left. And uh, we'll play with these two attackers, this attacker. Because why? And I want to tell you guys why I will use these two young attackers. Because in a game like this where we're playing at home, they will be very exciting, these two guys. They will be really exciting. Dan Rashford, who plays... Who, Rashford has now... Has, um, the, there's something that the fans are not happy with Rashford. Rashford is now kind of playing for Marcus Rashford, which is what we don't want for Manchester United. This is why I think uh, we should go with these two youth. But I think it's a bit risky and heavy for Eric Ten Hag. And um, obviously, Holland is here. Yeah, if we go with such a three attacker, with three attacker, what will happen clearly is we will lack that experience. But you know, Mark, Marco start but like this, and I think uh, we should um, obviously uh, go this way. What I think we should do, I don't know what I think Ten Hag will do, which I know he won't do. He has to be courageous enough and bring these two to start. Put an experienced midfield here yeah, in Bruno, Casemiro, and Amrabat, and put. An, in uh, an inexperienced young uh, youth in the attack who will explode and play very honest game here in the attack. I think with this combination, we can score more than two goals. Clearly, we can. So this is where I start. And um, my score line is I think United is going to win 3-1. Three, three, I hope it's 3-2. I really do hope it's... I mean, I I sorry, I hope it's 3-0. But I think United is going to win 3-1. Crystal Palace are a good team. I think they... They uh, the since Burnley changed the manager, Crystal Palace is one of the few teams now, or if not the only team in the Premier League that plays English football. Um, you know, long passes uh, and also you know, a counter-attacking football. But one thing is clear: United has to dominate this game because we have to be coming a little bit ahead in this game because we have, because of this man, I will tell you, because of this guy, because we have a goalkeeper which is good with our leg who will be playing like this, the ball like this. We have to. We have to be uh, uh to be uh playing more offensive. So this is what I think uh, that Manchester United in this game we have a dominance. Clearly, you have to dominate this game. I will be oh, I will be shocked if Kisa Palace does dominate or in possession. But uh, because um I think uh, in the, in the first twenty minutes we need to already have a goal and find for that second goal. This has to be a not a very difficult game for United. We are the holders of this tournament uh, of this trophy. We have to prove that we were deserved to hold this short trophy. And I know that United team, the, the, the team this year, yeah, are very um, yeah, lo are looking forward to have a good season, at least a trophy season. We can win this again or win the local cup because I know the Champions League, we will not even qualify for the semis. I, I don't see us qualifying for the semis. So, so um, yeah. So tell me what you think below, guys. Well, it will be very happy. I'll be very happy to see a youth like uh, Toby Mweni come in the second half. You have Toby Mwe Kobe Mweni, sorry. Mark Tomini, uh, I, I mean, I call him Mark Fraud. Honestly, he has won the fraud of my, uh, he has, I'm so disappointed. With him. I'm also Veran should come into this game for his fitness also. I think we'll bring Veran in the second half. But this is how I'm going to start the game. Tell me what you think below. And please make sure you uh, click the like button. Subscription is yours. We upload videos here every day about Manchester United. Fan, I mean, fan-friendly contents. And we hope you guys can be uh, play a very good, uh, important uh, uh, contribution in our project. Guys, talk to you soon, guys.